Members of the House of Representatives have called for a veto to overrule the precedent on Section 84, Subsection 8, which he has refused to ascend by invoking Section 84, Subsection 4. The lawmakers made this known at plenary Wednesday after many lawmakers lost their seats due to the president not assenting to the electoral amendment by both chambers of the National Assembly. Emmanuel A. Jenner completes this report. Honorable Ben Igbapa, representing Ethiopia Federal Constituency from Delta State, raised the constitutional point of order, citing Section 58, Subsection 8 of the 1999 Constitution, which empowers the National Assembly to enact laws and as well override the president with a two-thirds majority of members' vote. But the Speaker asked him to come by way of a motion to enable the House to consider the override or not. Honorable Ben Igbakpa complained that despite the fact that lawmakers were called from break to debate this special section for the improvement of the electoral process, the president abandoned it to attend to other assignments important to him. For me, it is just a battle that is lost. The war is on and that we should go ahead to make sure that that law is retooled, made clear, and if it demands of, it requires this parliament to take action to override what has not been signed, we should be willing to do so. Honorable Toby Okechuku, while supporting the veto, lamented the poor showing of members of both chambers of the National Assembly at the just concluded primaries. He said the Electoral Act has been practiced without the amendments, painstakingly made by lawmakers has been weaponized and used against democracy, stating that IS bidder have taken advantage to hijack the process. This constitution gave us the powers, just like it gave to them. We must wake up as a parliament where we pass our laws and we are sure that we have done the right thing. We should start overriding Mr. President. Because this is just the beginning. Today, NDDC Act is in force because the parliament, which you are part of, did it. Why are we afraid? Mr. President has not committed any offense. What he has done is the rule of law and the constitution. While ruling on the motion, the speaker listed all the conditions under which lawmakers could override a veto successfully. He said it is not automatic to override the president, stating that it can only happen if the House is convinced, and that will be by two-thirds of the whole House. For us to override, I believe we require two-thirds majority. And it cannot be by voice vote, neither can it be by way of signatures, unless, of course, you, you have enough two-thirds by signature. So what I would suggest is that you bring the application a formal motion on notice so perhaps tomorrow or whenever you are able to to do that and then we'll determine whether or not this house is ready to override or not i, I think that's the way to go that's the, uh, the proper procedure please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.